guys, Usman versus Edwards part three is finally happening. And in celebration of this weekend's fight, DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $200 in bonus bets instantly after they place their first $5 wager. Wondering how to use $200 in bonus bets? Try Same Fight Parlays, where you can combine multiple bets on the same fight into one parlay for a shot at even more action. If mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still get in on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they offer cash prize contests for nearly every sport. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. New customers, just click on the link below to download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Remember, use the promo code SUDDEN and bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SUNNEN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Booby prize, right? Do you guys know what a booby prize is? you know what this term is? So my mother was part of a group that played Bunko. Now we lived out in the country, okay? We were separated. Our nearest mailbox is about two miles away. So my mother belonged to this group and they played Bunko, but that was a big deal. That was a big social deal. Don't forget, I grew up, there was three channels. We couldn't have cable where we were at. Was no such thing as the satellite dish, at least where we were at. Internet wasn't created. There wasn't a lot of things that you could do with your time. So my mother belonging to this Bunko group, it was a very big deal. There was something that she got to do that was social for the whole house. That meant my dad was in charge of dinner. And this was only once a month. And there, there was like Bunko season, but then she would go out. And then this happened when I was a young kid, so that I wasn't thrilled when my mother's gone, so that I got to stay up and wait till she gets home so that I know she's staying. I mean, this is, it's a whole thing. But when she would come in my room to tell me I'm home, I would want to know how she did. Because if you won Bunko, you got a gift. This is how the girls did it. A little dinner and they had their little night out, but there was a gift. Guess what else you got a gift for? You got a gift if you got last place. If you came in last place, it was called the booby prize. And I could never understand when my mother would come home empty-handed. I didn't get it. It's like, mom, if you don't know that you're winning, if it doesn't feel like you're close, that you're going to win this, why don't you tank the whole thing so that you get a gift? Now, I was a little kid, but this was a very real question. And she must have had to explain this to me every damn first Wednesday of the month for like seven years. But I remember the booby prize. Now, I have told you guys, you can pay an analytics department. And believe me, the UFC, you can pay them a bunch of money and let them have their offices you understand how that works. It's a lot like a strength and conditioning coach. You just go out and you use a lot of words that's confusing. Have you ever seen a politician that's a foreign policy expert? Okay. <laughs> the foreign policy expert in politics is, is my favorite thing. You can say a Mooka Medijan, and you know the difference in, in Iraq and Iran, and you can slip in Palestinians. At some point, you will get to be known as the foreign policy expert. You will watch Congress, you will watch Senate back down instantly. They don't know those simple terms, and if you threw them out, then you must know them, and they'll just quit. They'll call you an expert. They'll put you in a fancy suit and move you out to Washington, D.C. I just share that with you, because they do the same thing in analytics departments. You can hire those guys and you can pay them to come in your office with some numbers that they claim is a proprietary algorithm. It's none of those. They, they have none of those things. Or you could go to Chael Sonnen's YouTube page. Not an exaggeration and not sometimes. 100% of the time, you could go to my YouTube page, look at the thumbnail, and I'm not only audited, I am publicly audited. Now, I do a great job. I am very eloquent. Sometimes I'm funny. Sometimes I'm angry. I'm a very popular guy. You don't know if I'm giving the cure for cancer or the winning Powerball number. You don't know anything that I'm going to say until you click and you listen if I said it. But you do know what the thumbnail is. That's the only thing that I get to tell you. So when I go to that thumbnail, I can go back. I mean, look, I told him, I told, I wasn't trying to be a dick. I'm friends with Glover Teixeira. I was not trying to be a jerk, but it's, it's, it's public. When I make a piece and you guys don't care, it's public. I've already put it out. You can see the number. You can see the audit. And when Glover and Jan were getting ready to fight, 
It was the miss of 2022. We had never had a pay-per-view that you were less interested in. And I brought that out as a booby prize, as a way of trying to serve my friend Glover. Telling you guys how much you don't want to see, to get you to push back, telling you how awful you are viewing this fight when it was the single greatest fight the division's ever had. It was the most exciting fight of the year. It was one of the biggest upsets. There was controversy. There was the old guy, young guy. There was the old guy, the new guy. Two guys from two different countries, and they meet, and yet a, a third part of the world. I mean, it was a very fascinating fight, but I'm also bringing that up as a way of making you interested. I'm telling you how much you hate it as a way of getting it out there somehow. You sure as hell weren't going to grab the sports page and read Teixeira versus Blahovitz. You're going to grab the sports man. If it's to share over, I'm saying Blahovitz. It's, what's the other guy? Prohaska is the one you didn't want to see Glover fight. There was nothing I could do, but it was a booby prize and I came out and told you. Now, I've never seen quite a disaster like that until today. Kamara versus, Kamara Usman versus Leon Edwards. Guys, I, I, I can't. Oh, my hot ass wife is calling. If you overlooked that and you look down, guys, I've never had a disaster like this. I even had somebody in the comment section, they told me one time, they said, Chill, us not wanting to hear you talk about a fight is not equal to us not wanting to see a fight. Yes, it is. It is exactly equal. It is 100% what it means. 100%. If I commentated any fight and you had the choice to hear me commentate it or to watch the fight on mute, 100% of you would listen to me. It was a disaster of such proportions that ultimately... It got scrapped. Ultimately, for whatever reason, you guys were told, it got scrapped. Some of you believe still to this day that Prohaska relinquished his belt. I don't know why you want to believe that. He got stripped. Just so you understand, I've told you that 20 times. You've told me, I heard Prohaska say that he got stripped. I'm telling you what happened, the same as I do every time. And finding out how much you don't care about Kamara versus Leon is a bit of a surprise to me. This fight has not felt like it was gonna happen. The night the head kick was heard around the world, we had a unique treat, and it's not, it's not a one-off, but you could count it all on, on one hand. Maybe you'd have to bring in a couple of fingers, but real literal, we go to a press conference, and Dana makes the announcement, man, I'm doing this one again. Stop everything, forget everything. I mean, this is a Chamayev. Chamayev talk was red hot back then. They stopped everything. Stop everything. We're doing this one again. That was real interesting. Dana even said, I don't even have a venue. I'd like to take it to England. I don't have a venue in England, but I got some time and I'm going to get it. I might even have to wait till next year so I can get the right venue in England. Hope you're going to get Patty the Batty on the card. Find out Patty's got some foot injury. You got to bring a, 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 a Russian versus a guy from Colorado. That's how limited your car is. Your next biggest star is named Molly that people apparently aren't interested in. Then you got Aspen all this out on the injury list, and Bisping doesn't fight anymore. I mean, it's one of these things. None of this adds up. None of this was discussed. None of this has been in the headlines. Neither of these guys, and Kamara, quite frankly, usually does a very good job. Kamara's just had a different approach. It's real serious to him. He's buckled down. He doesn't want to lose anything in the media. I understand that Leon never does anything. Leon's doing nothing again. I'm just sharing for you. Nothing about this fight feels right. Guys within the division, from Lahal Mohammed to Luke, to Wonderboy, to Masvidal, to Colby Covington, they all said the fight's not going to happen. All of those guys at some point have said, put me in, be ready to put me in. This guy's not showing up. That would be a general rule where that guy would step forward and say, yes, I am. John Jones yesterday said Stipe's not showing up in July. Stipe, within 15 minutes, addressed it publicly on Twitter and said, yes, I am. There was a rumor that Kamar was hurt. As a matter of fact, he was in a brace. And a matter of fact, it was to his right hand. Would have been a normal spot where you would come out and say, no, I'm not. I was hurt or this doesn't matter. I got two hands. I don't need both of them, right? There's a million ways to do this in a normal environment that would have happened, but it didn't happen. Nothing about this fight feels like these guys are going to fight. It's four title. It's a trilogy. It's a true trilogy, not just number three. They fought twice. They split out everything about this, except for the single greatest trajectory we have in the sport. The 
thing golf. This isn't a joke. That's why I keep saying this isn't a joke. This isn't an exaggeration. This isn't sometimes. You guys are the biggest audience. You guys are the smartest audience. I am the most interesting guy, and you come to me. See how we found each other, though? I mean, see where this kind of makes a level of sense? So when I do a breakdown that says Kamara Usman versus Leon, when I say it's got Kamara versus Leon part three, when it says world title fight, welterweight trilogy, when it says this Saturday, pay-per-view main event, I can't say it any other, and you can't say it any other way, then we don't care. Quite frankly, even though this is news to me, in all fairness, as I look back, goddamn, this isn't new. This isn't as though you haven't revealed that. When I tell you it was not the outcome that I thought was going to happen, it's not as though you haven't been crystal clear. You never called for this fight. The division and the boys in the locker room never called for this fight. The media's never called for the fight. For goodness sake, Leon and Usman never called for the fight. That's the right fight. I'm very interested, and I think the history of the welterweight division is going to be greatly affected by this. But what history says that's written in a book for a publication at a time versus a live pay-per-view that requires one thing. I always hear people in this business, nobody knows how to make any money in this business, but they don't know how to make any money in the business because they don't even know what we're doing. What makes money in MMA? Go ahead and tell me. You're an ask, what makes money in MMA? Sponsors, shut up. What makes money in MMA? A live gate. Okay, we just had a pandemic, there was no gate. Doors stayed open. Pay-per-view. Okay, we're usually not on pay-per-view. We did a deal with a linear network called ESPN. I didn't ask you, how do I make money in MMA? I asked you, what makes money in MMA? Great fights. Interesting characters. World championship. That's why no one can make money in this business. They don't even know where you make money. There's one word. There's only one thing that makes money. There's one thing that keeps the lights on. One. It's not great fights, just so you understand. It's not action, it's not excitement, it's not knockouts, and it's not submissions. It's anticipation. If you do not have anticipation, the doors don't stay open. So while history is going to be affected, while 2023 and what happens at welterweight is going to be affected, you can come back to me, I'll tell you what happened next week. But I'm not going to charge you for it, and you're not going to willing to pay for it. And without anticipation, it's very tough to have a business. And I have been stunned at the booby prize. I have been stunned. Lower anticipation than Glover Prohaska, which until today was my booby prize. 